New Weapons Channel Today we take a look at the Russian S-500 Prometi anti-aircraft missile system. Reportedly, mass production of this latest system has already begun with a new anti-aircraft missile with improved characteristics. The combat capabilities of S-500 Prometheus are much higher than those of previously created similar complexes. S-500 is capable of becoming the backbone of Russia's air defense system, where S-500 takes an intermediate position between S-400 and the strategic anti-missile system A-135, Amur. S-500 design applies the principle of separation of ballistic and aerodynamic targets. S-550 and S-500 will provide the Russian targets with joint protection against hypersonic targets. S-500 will enter service with the Russian army within the time frame specified by the state defense order. Earlier it was reported that S-500 Prometheus will arrive in the troops of the Eastern District by 2025. Presumably, the year before last the first few battalions of the new S-550 SAMs which took part in the trials went on combat duty. All combat vehicles as well as auxiliary equipment for these units have already been produced and handed over to the personnel. The state testing of S-500 began in 2020. The S-500 SAM performed test firing at the Kapustin Yar test range and also in the Arctic, where it was launched against a hypersonic target and the target was successfully hit. It was noted that the tests confirmed the specified tactical and technical characteristics. The minimum set of equipment for S-500 Prometheus will include a control center with an automatic control system, which receives operational information about the air situation in the zone of responsibility of the air defense system. The radar complex, which is responsible for long-range search and identification of ballistic and aerodynamic targets. It also includes up to 12 tractors with launchers for anti-aircraft missiles. The S-500 system can be reinforced by a mobile antenna post tower and other special equipment. All components of the system will be mounted on multi-axle high cross-country chassis made by Belarus Plants Baz or MZKT. S-500 is designed to destroy cruise and hypersonic missiles, aircraft and helicopters, as well as drones. Prometheus will be able to work even against low-orbit satellites. S-500 Prometheus OKR Triumphator M is a long-range and high-altitude interception system with a high missile defense capability capable of intercepting ballistic missiles. The system affects not only ballistic but also aerodynamic targets and cruise missiles within a radius of about 600 kilometers. The launch of serial production of S-500 Prometheus does not mean that the S-400 air defense system of the previous generation will somehow lose its importance. Prometheus is still an anti-missile system, and S-400 is still the basis for the air defense. Earlier it was reported that the S-550 SAM also successfully passed state tests. It was specified that the SAMs are used to build a deeply echelon system of anti-aircraft and missile defense of Russia on the basis of air defense missile systems Panzer, S-350, S-400, S-500 and S-550 in space. The main differences between the S-500 and S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft missile systems are long and medium-range systems. It is designed to defeat air attack and reconnaissance assets, including stealth technology aircraft and any other air targets under conditions of intensive fire and electronic countermeasures. The S-400 missile defense system was adopted by the Russian Army in 2007. The S-500 Prometheus anti-missile system is a close relative of the S-400 Triumph anti-aircraft system, but it is more specialized and has wider capabilities. While the Triumph deals with air defense, the Prometheus deals primarily with missile defense. Its ammunition is too expensive to spend on conventional targets. The S-500 works with threats that are complex and inaccessible to other systems. For example, it can hit the latest 77H6 ballistic missile warheads in deep space at a distance of 600 kilometers from Earth. To operate outside the atmosphere the complex includes a 60K6 long-range detection radar that finds targets at a distance of 2,000 kilometers and calculates their trajectory for targeting anti-missile missiles. 
The enemies of the S-500 will be the most difficult ones. F-22 and F-35 stealth fighters, B-2 stealth strategic bombers and the prospective B-21 Raider stealth bomber. If necessary, the complex can also reach E-3 flying radars, without which the F-22 and F-35 cannot fight, or refueling planes, whose help is critical for deck aviation. That is, the respectable distance at which the enemy must keep from Russian targets has increased from 400 kilometers to 600. The Prometheus has reduced reaction time on target. 3 to 4 seconds compared to 9 to 10 seconds for the Triumph. The new anti-aircraft system will be incorporated into Russia's defense in-depth system and will find its niche in it. Covering long-range airspace up to 200 kilometers high, fighting against difficult targets, and intercepting targets beyond the atmosphere. Russia has enough air defense systems with superior characteristics for its near-range area. Another advantage of the S-500 is its mobility. The system can be transported on its own or by rail to a desired location and promptly deployed there. The Almaz Anti-Air and Space Defense Concern is a Russian group of companies that develops and manufactures air and missile defense equipment and other products. The concern is headquartered in Moscow. The state owns 100% of shares. The company's products are in the arsenal of the Russian Federation and more than 50 other states. All about the prospective B-21 Raider stealth bomber of the U.S. Air Force look at the link, see you on the channel.